one of the oldest mosques in Antalya. So as I said the apartment is the entrance from there and the apartment is as you turn there into that road, second alley on the left, on the right. Nice quiet area but in the, right in the buzz of the city. We literally when you go on the Antalya map you find this to be where it says Antalya, city centre. Here's Mark Antalya Mall, lots of restaurants, lots of takeaways, lots of uh, uh, it's got a cinema, it's got a gym, it's got, I mean it's got play area for kids, indoor play area. Basically everything is here, you've got the tram station right here. Just gonna walk down this street all the way down to the old town to the Kalichi to the sea to the harbour. Yo! And see Walikiti, like the Primark of Turkey. So for example, this is Khan Hotel. My apartment is literally behind it, on the right side. And uh, you would probably pay double the price you pay for my two bedroom apartment, which fits up to seven, eight people. You would pay for two people here for double the amount just for this hotel room. We're now basically entering the old town, so there's mosques everywhere. There's one mosque there. There's gonna be about three mosques coming up now as you go down. So here you have the tram that goes to Konyalti Beach and it goes into the old town as well. But you're basically in the old town now. So you got the old mosque there. The clock tower is covered at the moment. Refurbishments. That's what they have there water show and that goes towards the Maidan so this is the old town all the good restaurants takeaways as I said about five minutes walk away and this is the cats area I'm gonna give you an overview so we just turn right from there Seoul ancient so this is August, the peak, hottest, worst month to come to Antalya. Here we have the most, one of the most famous mosques there. So this is the busiest month you could say. This is the Maidan, beautiful view of the old town from here. So. said the tramway goes towards Ponyanti Beach, you could walk it as well, it's walk. <clears throat> and this is the old town, there's also a beach here as well. Here you have about 10 mosques inside the old town, there's the sea. already see three mosques from here one two three and see many minarets inside the old town There's many glass uh, viewing points can go down to the harbor very beautiful so this is the old San Franciscan type that goes to the to the beach. So rather than turn right from where we came, we're going to turn left now on the other side. We'll go from this direction now. We have all the exchange offices. Super duper hot right now. Old bazaar. And 
you have a very nice shop you should definitely go inside this shop for fun and this is where I live where the three bedroom and four bedroom apartment is on this street Ladies have taken over. So this is my street, Atatürk Chatesi. So this is famously known for the palm trees. Again, many restaurants and takeaways. Tried to pause with my nose, didn't happen. Mosques are unlimited at another mosque. Literally one minute walk later, it's Hadrian's Gate. This is one of the most famous places. People sitting down, relaxing, entrance to the old town. This is another mosque. This is my local mosque. And now we're going towards my three bedroom and four bedroom apartment. Another tram stop that goes to the beach. Go McDonald's, Burger King right here. Okay, this street is extremely busy, extremely busy, beautiful. In the winter months, obviously, it's much less. Fruit juice. beautiful especially in sunset time it's uh, one of my favorite donut places on so if you keep going at the end of this street you can end up in the most beautiful park in Antalya with a view of the cliffs and the sea and the mountains so yeah it's all the ca castle walls many mosques inside there many old town old things old city Starbucks I never go there. So as you can see the three, the road ends there and the park starts with the view of the cliffs and the sea, a very massive park that goes into the old town as well, all the way into the boat harbor. And you got the three bedroom apartment right here, four bedroom apartment at the back. So this is the apartment rentals if anyone wants it right on the main street so this is the view from my three bedroom apartment the most expensive apartment shared terrace view and uh, as you can see Mark Antalya is right there it's about 15 minutes walk 20 minutes walk and before it comes my two bedroom apartment and the four bedroom apartment is just behind, one minute walk from here. It's a newer building, but it's four bedrooms. So I've got four bedroom, three bedroom and two bedrooms. The two bedroom is the budget one. You can still fit up to seven people comfortably. And um, the three bedroom you can fit also seven people. And the four bedroom you can fit up to 11 people. So yeah, if anybody interested, just email me phaseweezy at, at gmail.com or leave a comment and try to answer it the email will be in the description below it's quite thingy right now um, it's, what do you call it misty so you can't see the cliffs properly and you clearly can't see the mountains but you can see the flag and you have everything here within walking distance rather than being a rubbish all-inclusive hotel where you pay three times more money for rubbish food that has been recycled, low quality, not fresh, making big companies more richer, why not help the little guy? So I manage properties for a few people, these are not my personal properties, except for this one actually where I'm living, yes that's my personal property. So anyway this is a very beautiful, very beautiful, beautiful park which goes down into the boats harbour. Anyway, anyone interested, don't forget to email me. Ooh.